edition of the Zach House this morning. Uh, she, she requested, she texted me this morning, she requested, asked if Melissa and Melanie could also join her on stage this morning as, um, as her family. As her family. symbolic I believe it is. I have, um, I play a small part in these ladies' lives, but can I tell you that these women right here that's, that, that live at that Amen. house with them, uh, they play a huge part in, their, in these Amen. ladies' lives and pour it into them. And, um, without these two ladies right here, this would not be possible. It would not be possible. So, uh, I just I just want to take a moment and tell you just a little bit about Tisha. I just want to tell you a little bit about Tisha. Tisha came to us um, from Pontotoc, from Pontotoc, and uh, somehow they heard about dying to live in the Zach house, and they, they got in touch with us. Said we have a young lady who is uh, on parole. She's on parole. Uh, how many? Been to prison four times. Been to prison four times. And uh, she's in a little bit of trouble again, but we, we, she's, she's asking for some help. We want to send her to you and to your program, and we're just going to tell you you're going to have your hands full. <laughs> and I said, well, that's the, that's the best kind right there. That's the kind I like. Send them on. Send them on. And when she got here, she was absolutely um, a firecracker in every sense of the word. <laughs> and um, initially started out, didn't know much about God. Didn't know much about God, who knew who God was, knew about God, but did not know God. And uh, got here, and God began immediately, I recognized a crazy, crazy favor of God on her life. A crazy favor of God. And um, from day one, He has protected this child. From day one, he has protected her. He has removed things and removed people and removed situations. And we are believing that he is going to remove some charges. And that uh, we are just going to see a total transformation and restoration in her life. But um, when, I was, when I was looking up scriptures, y'all know I look up the scriptures. I, I, I pray about them, think about them. There were two scriptures that I found. One I'm going to read and one I put on the certificate. But the one I want to read to you, Tisha, comes from Psalm 68. And it's verse 5 and 6. And it says, Father to the fatherless, defender of widows, this is God Amen. whose dwelling is holy. God places the lonely in families. He sets the prisoners free, and he gives them joy. And when I read that scripture, I said, my God, that is her testimony in a Amen. nutshell. That is her testimony in a nutshell. And um, God has done an amazing work in Tisha's life. He's done an amazing work in her life. And today, as I present her, her parenting certificate, she has completed the parenting curriculum with Pastor Greg and Miss Cindy. Amen. I'm also going to present her her certificate of completion from the Zach House. And on this certificate, um, I put the scripture, My child, listen to me and do as I say, and you will have a long, good life. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you will not stumble. Guard my instructions, for they are the key to life. Amen. And as I present you with this certificate, I want you to know that you have been given the key to life and life in abundance. And Amen. God's hand Amen. is on Amen. your life. And God's favor <laughs> is on your life. And you have blessed me. You have blessed me. Can I tell you the anointing that's on her life? When we talk and when we sit and when we counsel, she blesses me just as much as I could ever bless her. And I'm just reminded as iron sharpens iron. Every time I speak to her, just the, the fire and the passion of God just pours off of her. And uh, we are thrilled to say that she is going to be staying another six months in Goshen. And she will also stay on as full-time staff and work in the Zach House. 